thank you for, for having us. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, uh, so a little bit about what it was like to be uh, part of the research, uh, I guess the research team uh, as a, as a um, graduate, uh, as a music therapist and a graduate programmer in training, I suppose. Um, a lot of the experience was really, I want to say, neat, uh, to kind of put it plainly, um, in the sense that it was nice to to kind of collaborate on a project like this, uh, especially with Laurel, who has a lot of experience with this population and had a lot to say about um, about the population and and, and their um, association with music and how they they you know how um, her work has gone with uh, with this particular population, which we were kind of discovering at our point in our studies, uh, all different kinds of of age groups and populations that we were working with. Um, so that was a nice experience for sure all around. It was a lot of, it was a big learning experience for us. And I think uh, another major part of it uh, was kind of uh, the the discovery of using the Zoom platform. Um, I, I haven't used, I don't know, Julia, if you had used uh, the Zoom platform to conduct music therapy sessions, but it was definitely, um, it was a bit of a learning curve and kind of uh, finding out what were the difficulties and um, basically kind of organizing the millions of many things to think about when you're organizing and in a, a Zoom platform. And then on top of that, not really be and kind of dealing or adapting to to anything that might be unreliable, like internet connections and, and kind of um, it was it was it was a big experience to kind of go through that and learn learn all about that and, and explore that platform um, in all its its glories and its faults um, and um, yeah a little bit about what I learned I, it was a lot of um, uh, a lot of what I learned had to do was kind of just reflection on perspectives of of music with uh, older age groups and, and older populations and. And how they viewed music. A lot of what we saw in the transcriptions, and we we're I, I feel really lucky to have to have been part of, of transcribing these interviews. Is is kind of seeing their personal take and their personal connection to the music that we introduced. Uh, the participants' personal perspectives on the music that we introduced, and um, and kind of learning about um, the commonalities between all the different participants and 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 their uh, their surveys and. Uh, again, a lot of learning kind of went towards the Zoom preparedness, which I'm happy for because I'm now doing music therapy sessions online at the, the CHD, the Center for Arts and Human Development. Um, so a lot of that is going, a lot of what I learned is going towards what I'm doing now in, in, in my internships. Um, and just to, to finish off a little bit about what surprised me going in, uh, um, uh, I mean, going out of this research uh, project, this first phase, I suppose, of the research project was, uh, this the the connection i mean we talked a little bit about the uh, about this afterwards uh, with uh, laurel and julia the connection that we felt with the participants uh noting that we have only done four sessions and these four sessions were in a span of two weeks so we really hadn't spent all too much time with them i think overall you can count on one hand the amount of hours that we spent doing music with uh these participants uh but it felt like a, a bigger connection and, and to be able, I mean, at least from us to them, and it seemed from their transcriptions from uh, with in between participants as well, it seemed like there was a presence of a big connection, um, which is which is kind of surprising and nice to nice to experience, um, especially considering kind of the, the goals of, of the research uh, project. And um, I was personally, I was surprised uh, by some of the, the the variety and the feedback, and, and kind of hearing how you know what experiences were appreciated by some, and and you know for a lot of it, improvisational experiences might might have been experienced by one person uh, in a, in a positive light, and negatively in a, for another person, and and uh, there was a lot of variety between the different transcriptions, and and um, I thought it was kind of interesting to see what really uh, fostered a lot of connection for for some uh, maybe considering some discussions about an experience uh, that we did in, in session uh, or in the yeah I guess in a zoom session and and what really didn't click or did completely had a complete opposite effect for for some um, which might speak a little bit to to kind of the versatility of, of you know the format the four kind of different types of experience in music therapy and and how that can be used um, uh, online as well and how they work kind of differently online as well uh, and and yeah personally I was surprised um, about the uh, the responses in, in regards to their appreciation to the aesthetics 
to um, what we what we presented in terms of recorded music that was shared through Zoom, and what we presented as as live performed music in between all of us. And um, we, I'm I mean it was uh, I think a lot of it was maybe um, maybe connected to their their own connection to a song that we presented live. But I was pretty surprised and pleased to see that a lot of the songs that we performed live had the same comparable maybe the same or, or even more of an effect than the ones that we played um through zoom uh through sound and i remember you know uh kind of preparing some songs for sessions and thinking well how am i gonna you know this maybe this sounds good to me but how is this you know how is this gonna sound or or maybe the opposite like how am i gonna sound you know trying to practice this but I'm part of putting effects and reverb and thinking about how i can plug in my guitar so it's crystal clear um but in the end i think the fact that they were already connected to the song really did all a lot of the the um i guess contribute a lot to the appreciation and and i was pretty surprised and pleased to to see and hear about that in the uh, interviews so.